a very interesting evolution actually from prepayment, the traditional prepayment functionality towards smart and it's been driven by the utility needs to monitor the assets for revenue protection and revenue assurance. The traditional meters of many years ago uh, didn't have any communication. So with the evolution of communications generally in the world, the smart prepayment meters now have the ability to be online for the utilities, giving them the means to remotely audit, uh, check the meters remotely, especially if the meter is in a post-payment mode and the customer doesn't pay, they can send a command to the meter hundreds of kilometers away, disconnecting the service, so the customer then needs to uh, restore their account or pay whatever the case may be. And all of that, I think, translates into two important things. One is revenue protection, and the other one is reducing the overall operating costs because you have the ability to remotely control the smart meters. And that's the big story, the evolution of the meters, really, uh, over the last years. Now some of the key features, first of all, is this prepayment account and the way that it can actually be um, configured, especially for import and export energy. So export energy is when you have energy from a solar panel or microgrids, for example. And now you can configure the prepayment account so that with export energy, it doesn't decrement the credit or you can configure it to add credit as an incentive for the customer generating the energy or putting it back into the grid. That's one of the key things. The other th key things is the ability to remotely disconnect the supply control switch of the meter, see if, if the customer doesn't pay. And that's a very important um, functionality, I think, that the utilities can see immediate benefits from. And we've already seen that being used around the world.